National Conference coming to you live from the Paco Arena in Manila. And just earlier, we were able to witness two collegiate teams battle it out in PCU versus DLSU with LaSalle winning in three sets as it sets us up for this matchup between Bayleaf LPU, that's Lyceum University, going up against Chef Mona Diet, Far Eastern University, before we proceed to Perpetual versus Philippine Army, and then the Santa Rosa City Lions taking on the Signal HD Spikers. Thank you for joining us, folks. This is Mix Gomez at your service alongside Andre Mulia Kanda and Apple David. Now, Anne, I'd like to focus on FEU for a bit here because they did lose their superstar in Mark Buboy Calato. Shout out to you, Mark. I want to ask you this. If you're a team that loses its MVP in your squad, what changes does it usually entail? You know, I think that is something that happens to most of, most of the teams. Mm -hmm. ano, yung at mo, wala yung inyong star player, yung inyong MVP. And there's a lot of adjustment that is needed from all of the players who will be left behi behind. First and foremost, stepping up. You know, you, you, you'd... Uh, expect that there would be that one person or not just one but maybe uh, a handful of your players who would step up uh, show their best and uh, at least fill in the shoes diba, of the player that uh, has left the team well the feu players did step up in their previous game that's why when we look at the pool d standings they're currently looking good with a win to their name on the other end lpu lost their first game that's right. So it is a similar situation that uh, what we saw in uh, the first match kung saan isang team nang galing sa panalo, one team looking to add uh, one uh, win you know, in their uh, win-loss record. But uh, today you are correct ano, if we are to look at uh, the team standings at this point. It looks like FEU would have a good edge at least in terms of uh, confidence, at least at least in terms of uh, mental, uh, mentally coming into this game. Alam nila na meron silang advantage. Well, for LPU, it has been a struggle for them in the offseason dahil nga no maraming gumraduate sa kanila. A ton of these players in the lineup for Coach Deloitas are rookies. And uh, they're even being led by si Kiko. No? Mamaya pag-usapan natin si Kiko as our featured player for LPU. He did score a ton of points in their previous game, but they fell short to Savage Basilan. They really started off slow in that game. And uh, as uh, we would uh, see, some of the teams are like that also. Medyo diesel yung kanilang uh, pagbilis uh, or pagkilos. And that is what we have seen with uh, Bayleaf LPU kung saan mabagal lang paumpisa. But in the latter part, nakatapat sila. It's just that it wasn't enough to secure a win in uh, that uh, game against uh, Savo. At least they got a set win, which is already yes. a big testament to their level of play, given that they do have many rookies. That includes Mr. June. Kiko Edang, yeah, I got a bit twisted there with his name dahil gusto niya ng ibang nickname dahil marami daw June sa kanyang koponan, no? He was the pocket rocket in their previous outing. Definitely a force to reckon with itong si uh, Edang. 27 points ang kanyang naitala and uh, truly a power there at the net. 24 points no? out of the 27 mula sa kanyang opensa. But uh, what is good is that uh, overall game as we look at his stats, hindi lang sa atake siya maaasahan. We uh, see the prowess as well at the net. May two block points siya. Nakapuntos din ng isang ace in that game. But in that matchup, if I can focus again on the attacks, he had seven attempts in four sets. Marami ba yun? It is. It, it uh, looks uh, quite a lot. But uh, again, ang ano natin dito, no? Uh, kailangan yung efficiency also, yeah. yung success rate na ng iyong uh, opensa ay mataas din. Well, speaking of success rate, yun ang gusto makuha ng FEU that would be consistent for them as for this Sunday. Because in their previous outing, they did win it in a very crucial match against PGJC Navy. They were down 0-2 to two in terms of sets early in that game. What's interesting is that uh, that match, you know, they were facing several alumni of, right. uh, of the school. So, siguro, in a way, may familiarity to yung mga seniors nila. But it was a stretched uh, match, actually. Mahaba-haba ang kanilang uh, inilaro dito. It was a five-setter, which they eventually won. Uh, dito, I think... Um, Navy initially looked at winning it in straight sets, but uh, the character that we saw from FEU in this match, nung nahabol nila, no, yung last three sets, third set, 
umabot pa actually in 26. Yes. So, uh, very good attitude and I guess it shows also yung kapit nitong team na to. The kind of maturity and experience. Well, that's what happens when you fight to the end. And boy, was it a balanced flavor in terms of attacks for them because of their setter na si Ariel Kakao who did come off the bench because Benny Martinez obviously is their usual starter, no? But Benny, because he has missed a couple of classes or a couple of training sessions because of his classes, it allowed Ariel Kakao to step up here in our Spiker Surf Conference. That's right. Uh, we know that in his first UAAP season, he spent some time on the bench, but it's good to see. Actually, it's good to see in the Spiker Surf that a lot of the reserves, a lot of the second stringers are really stepping up and showing uh, us all no, the talent and the skills that they have. 29 excellent sets for Ariel Kakao spread across five sets. So let's see how he can do today against Lyceum University. Now let's turn you over to Apple David. A lot of us are excited about this return of the Spiker Surf, and that is why we want to hear you guys what you think, especially those watching via the Pilipinas Live app. We have a poll question. Which team will have more digs? Is it going to be a Bay Leaf LPU or the Chef on a Diet FEU? You can key in your answers and also join in the conversations using our hashtag Spiker Surf 2023. Let us get this game started and get to know our starting lineups. Uh, international referee. Now let's call on your starters for the Bayleaf Hotels. Calling on their team captain at number seven, June Edang. Wearing jersey number two, Icon Aquino. At number eight, Sean Bencito. Wearing jersey number nine, Michael Gaspi. At number 10, EJ Polis. Wearing jersey number 17, Roji Guadamore. Starting libero is number 3, Phil Inting. Head coach, Mr. Paul John Doloiras. Now let's call on your starters for Chef on a Diet. Calling on their team captain at number 14, Teng Bugawan. Wearing jersey number 2, Kutz Cordelia. At number 3, Ariel Cacao. At number 9, Drix Saavedra. Wearing jersey number 11, Lyric Mendoza. At number 15, Andre Delicana. Starting libero is number 4, Bryce De Guzman. With their head coach, Coach Ed or Coolio. This is match number 15 of the preliminary rounds, Pool D, between the Bayleaf Hotels and Chef on a Diet. Presenting the Good starters luck. for the Bayleaf Hotels LPU, we have Polis, Guadamore, Legaspi, Aquino, Edang, Bencito, and Moral. And then for FEU, Chef on a Diet, we have Saavedra, Mendoza, Codilia, Delicana, Bugawan, Cacao, and Adesir. A couple of usual names in the starting unit for Coach Edison Orculio and a couple of players also being mixed up because we have seen the departure of their MVP in Mark Calado at the same time. Benny Martinez and Jeller Talisayan have missed a couple of training sessions because of the conflict of schedule with their classes and as we know no alam mo naman yan an being a student comes first before being an athlete oh, oh. Uh, tough uh, balance that is needed for uh, our players FEU is looking for its second win in the conference while LPU is still looking for its first victory thank you for joining us this is Mix Gomez alongside Andre Muliakanda and Apple David 
There seems to be a bit of a delay here to start the game. LPU will be serving. It is Roji Guadamore who will do the honors. Again, they started very slow, especially in set number one versus Savoj Basilan in the previous game, but they did give us a wonderful third set, winning it 26 to 24 against their previous opponents. Wow, what a start for FEU. Love the energy that we are seeing here for uh, FEU. Are you expecting a lot of plays like those or like that from FEU? Because we, they do have a good amount of tall and strong middle blockers. You know, if you start that way, I think uh, we're in to see a lot of those throughout this match. Pero hindi magpapatalo. Si Kiko oh. Edang. Kiko had 27 points in their previous game. That's 27 out of the 90 scored by Bailey Hotels. Another attack from the middle. Again, they started off with that. You know that uh, they're gunning for these uh, quick and fast plays. So that's two points already for Lyric Mendoza in this game. He had eight as a starter in their previous game versus PG JC Navy. That game reached five sets, where in FEU trailed two sets to none. Then they just stormed their way back, of course, with the tutelage of Edison Orculio, their new head coach, their former assistant. Now it's a service error for Lyric Mendoza. Not much of rally so far in this game. Too it's, old. It's been uh, pretty fast as well for the returns of FEU. And they continue to go for these uh, lower, uh, faster sets. Well, Martin Bogawan is known for his quickness at the net. Kita mo naman, no? Much like his kuya. Magaling bumaon. Pagit na. And he actually shares the same personality as JP Bogawan. They're both soft-spoken. They're both introverts who like to play video games. There's a running hit by Vincito. At the net, there's the push by Martin. Ball up by Lyceum. Aquino gives it up to their top scorer. But that hit was outside for Kiko Edam. Still a... Uh, it seemed to have started quite aggressive for FEU. But here, no, nakikita natin parang very steady. Nag... Uh, the reserve of energy, siguro. <laughs> Both teams keeping it simple. Look at FEU towering there at the net. It's been all middle attacks, no? For FEU up until this moment. I think whenever they would get a good first ball and they get an opportunity to set up the middle, yun ang ginagawa nila. And you know, ganito palang kaaga, puro git na na yung yeah. uh, kanilang place. And it usually opens up the wing, right? As Bugawan tried to score, ball kept alive. Edang approaches. Ball up by the libero of FEU as Bugawan hammers it home. You know, you gotta appreciate as well the delivery of the first ball. Because uh, maganda no, yung puestuhan derecho sa setter. And that really allows them to set up those plays. And what a great start. The FEU bench actually started cheering because of their libero. Let's give a shout out to that guy. It's Javez Manahan, but his nickname on the list is Princess. Oh, pr see, Princess. Princess perfectly served. Yes. The, uh, that uh, dig, you know, to, to uh, the setter. <laughs> there you have it. We shall be calling him Princess Manahan from now on. S Might be my two. favorite uh, name Nick to call nickname, in, in, the, oh, nickname <laughs> in this uh, in the game. It's our uh, teams today. Wow, what a serve that was from Dick Saavedra. Actually, back in the UAP, there were a lot of questions about his abilities in serving that ball. He did make a lot of errors, so he's off to a good start. Eight to two.
This is the 2023 Spikers Turf Invitational Conference with more than half of their lineup being freshmen. It is expected for them to struggle, especially in their first game, according to Bayleaf LPU coach Paul John Doloiras. Lahat kasi bago yung level of play, the atmosphere, pati yung ensayo iba dito sa pros. But with one game in, the concern in that loss against Savage RTU is their service errors. Coach Doloiras had to emphasize how the offense starts on the service line and that they cannot afford to kill their own momentum with those kinds of errors. Mix and end. And those errors definitely contributed to the 41 in total. That's across four sets for LPU. So they're averaging double figures per set in terms of errors. Quite uh, a lot as we uh, go back into this action. You gotta appreciate yung uh, effort ng FEU no? pagdating sa kanilang depensa. Mm -hmm. Another attack this time. It's low for Kiko Edang. He's been trying to jump very high and hit that ball hard. But again, this front line of FEU, it's, it's very dynamic. It's been a good start for the Tamaraos. Nine serving two, Saavedra. There's that strong serve of his. Chance ball for FEU. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> it was overdug, but somehow, some way, it worked. Still got a point with that. Those are the types of moments where in you just get your opponent off guard, no? And, uh, you know, for setters, they cannot be choosy as well with how the ball is passed to them. You got to make the most out of it. Ooh, Strong look at attack, that. tough dig. And here comes Delicada. Tried to find the corner, but that was long. He had a good target there right at the corner, but uh, execution not done well enough, too long. Well, Delicana is one of those players who has had to step up in the absence of Mark Calado. He is a wing spiker after all. That's a one-two play for Ariel Cacao. Again, Kakao had 29 excellent sets in their previous game. Ngayon, papakita naman siya na kanyang scoring ability. Mm -hmm. Service there for FEU. Ball up. Another open hit. Another block. Very good showing here on the side of FEU. Overall, in terms of all the skill departments, I, I think we've seen yeah. them uh, you know, get a score. This time with a block. That's why... Coach Paul John has called for time. Dalawa nang anon pakatao dito kasi dalawa yung spiker natin. Okay, paikuti mo to. Kaya natin ginamit yan para kasi marunong yan magraning. So pwede mo patakbuhin. E receive, importante ang receive. Nagkakaproblema tayo sa receive. Okay? So ilayan nyo dito para ito gumalaw. Tapos paikuti mo to. Pwede mo pakwatruin to si... Diba pinapractice natin? Diba? Let's talk about the receives for a while. It's been very tough, no? It for is. The, for LPU. It is, it is. But I think, you know, this is also FEU's way to ensure na una pa lang nababasag na nila yung play yep. ng, uh, ng uh, Bayleaf. Because it's tough. I mean, it's so strong. Huh? Most of the returns are really strong, good floaters. And we, you'd see that for most of the time, yung setter kailangan lapitan yung first ball on the side of Bayleaf. But that time around, Lyceum was successful as Bayleaf scores its fourth point. They're down by eight as Jerry Talisayan now checks in for one of their youngsters in Andre Delicana. Talisayan has been their captain for a while now. But then again, he's missed a couple of practices because of a conflict of schedule with their classes. That's a free gift, an early Christmas gift for LPU's Roji Guadamore. I think uh, LPU getting a good read. Nakakailan na rin kanina, you know, that the ball is going over, pero ang nakakakuha ng puntos is FEU. 12 to 5, scramble. A chance now for LPU. Legaspi goes to the open, that's low. But are you seeing better signs now from Lyceum? I think in terms of uh, Laban, yes. But uh, unfortunately, yun nga, no, that last attempt was an error. I think the last thing that they want is to allow FEU 
to pull away further. Mm -hmm. Chance ball here. There's the setup to Cordelia, who just soared high for that attempt. What uh, makes it, I guess, a little bit more challenging on the side of Bayleaf is that they're hard to defend. They're too much power on the side of FEU. By the way, there really is a lot of chemistry between Kakao and Cordelia. They used to be the double sub in season 85 off the bench. Madalas magkasama. Now it's Kakao who tried to attack, but he was denied. <laughs> well read by the blockers of Bayleaf. There's the chemistry between those two. Binalik ni uh, Cordelia yung bola kay Kakao. Unfortunately, he wasn't able to score. Service now for Lyceum. Ball up. Not the best receive from Bryce. Chance ball now for the red shirts. Legaspi goes on Ooh. to his lefty and Aquino. And you know, that uh, that was a good call for that play. They deceived the blockers of FEU, so that left him open. Look at that. No blockers by the time he went for that attack. That trims the lead down to seven. Seven serving 14. Kakao looks and sets. Cordelia punishes that net defense of Lyceum. You know, he was already facing the right side of the court. Talagang intentionally, he wants to wipe it out. Kung ikaw yung net defender, kailangan ano mo ba talaga? Mo eh. oh, dapat tatapatan mo yung uh, kamay haharangan mo yung bola. But just too smart on that attempt for FEU. And do you actually have to see where the body is leaning towards of the attacker? You you have to get a good read because yung angle, diba, you'd, we'd, we'd see most of uh, the net defenders in angle rin yung kamay nila yeah. kung saan nila haharangan. It's that fast. Volleyball is that challenging. <laughs> 15 to 8. Ooh. Not a good service error there. Apple did talk about those service errors in their previous game. For Lyceum, it's now 16 to 8. Yung mga players kasi ni Coach Ed, yung touring niya hindi lang as a player. Kami tinuturing niya lahat na bilang totoong anak niya. Kaya ramdam na ramdam namin. Ayun Coach, kung mapapanood mo to, uh, we love you Coach. Oh, Real Kakao had to say it. He had to say it. <laughs> Kung i describe mo bilang mapagmahal ng coach mo, kailangan ibalik po yung pagmamahal. Oh. At uh, ibalik din natin yung pagmamahal sa ating mga viewers. No? Watch the Spikers Turf live in HD and on demand via Philippines Live. Enjoy the action anytime, anywhere, and in any device. Download and subscribe now or watch via PilipinasLive.com. The score reads 16 to 8 in favor of Jamel Codilia and the rest of Chef on a Diet FEU. Jump serve. Tough receive there for the libero. There's the leading scorer again. It's Kiko who tried to score. Ball up. A chance now for FEU. They go to the combination. I must say these guys came here prepared. We've, uh, you know, it, it's so early in the match. We're only in the first set, but we've seen quite a few already of, uh, you know, these uh, plays executed in the middle. That's Trix Avedra who just scored for... The yellow shirts as Cordelia serves again. Tough receive. Ooh, there's a violation. A net touch. Naramdaman na ni Lyric Mendoza. Eh, papunta na sa kanya yung oh, oh. bola. Just like free candy on Halloween. It's now 18 to 8. Cordelia serving. Sharp serve there. Straight to Edang. And here comes Aquino who's rejected at the net. Another chance. Na ito itong bola. But that attack was low on the counter for Drix. 
May uh, halong konting giggle, miscalculated the distance from the net. All right. We have to say this guy's name because he just got the best cheer again from FEU. Number 25, Nico Espartero. Born 2004. So that means he's 19 years old. Probably, most likely a rookie for FEU. We didn't see him as much as well in season 85. It's a service error again. Not uh, really helping their cause. If uh, you know, we'd look back at how the uh, at how Bayleaf LPU played against uh, Basilan. They scored 16 at least, no, in in the first set. But so far here, in this set against FEU, they remain single digit at nine. Ball out for LPU. That puts up. LPU needs to do more. And uh, I guess it should start with a good first ball. 20 serving nine. FEU looking good against LPU. There's the hit. <laughs> Miss Q. Sayang, sabi niya. <laughs> Mendoza and Talisayan. What happened there? Yeah, there were two players, but no? they were kasi yung bola. Mm -hmm. Hindi pa sila nakapuesto, sabi yung sayang. But they, they, they do have a comfortable lead right now. 10 serving 20. There's the setup to the back row. Mababa yung atake ni Nico. Uh, it's going to be very interesting if uh, Ariel Kaka will be going more to guys like. Nico Espartero in this game to give them their shining moments. Espartero again! It's out! But it, you, see the, you see the gamble there, ano? Gusto mong makabawi yung teammate mo. Nagkamali nung una. You give it uh, again the second time. We have a challenge. Boy, do they really want that point for Nico Espartero. It did seem long, but it would be interesting to see if it fell, you know, right at the line yeah. or somehow lumabas pero dikit pa rin yung bola we'll see Suspense. might as well for FU this is just their first challenge it is there you see coach Edison Orculio now being the head coach of Chef on a Diet FEU Tamaraus again with no more Mark Calado question is who can step up and it looks like their open spiker did step up in that previous sequence as Espartero's hit did meet the line. And uh, you gotta love really the support at the sidelines. Huh? This, uh, th this team seems to be really having fun, enjoying it. Sabi nga, nagustuhan ko yung ano kanya, may heart pa. May heart pa. So sobrang ano, heart nila sila coach, <laughs> diba? Ganyan sila maglaro. That seems to be the branding of FPU this season. Mapagmahal ang kanilang kupunan. Ooh, Ooh. Miss Q. Chance now for the Tamaraus. They go to Talisayan, but it seems like someone crossed. I or think a net, a touch. net violation there. Double sub now as you take a look at that net violation. Oh, there was indeed, no? He grazed the net side of his arm. Okay, we have Benny Martinez checking in for the first time. And we also have Mark Sabado appearing on a Sunday. 21 to 12. Here's Kiko Edang. Kiko's a rookie, but he's the team captain of Lyceum this season. That's an overhit. Imagine this. In the core of the Lyceum players, at least for those who are playing a ton of minutes, only two of them are not rookies. But you know, it also goes to show what they can be yes. in a few years' time, right? But to your point, you gotta give them time. You gotta give them time. This itong experience, itong exposure, this is something you cannot rush. Mm -hmm. It's good to have the talent, but uh, ito, magandang uh, learning experience to be going up against more seasoned teams or more seasoned players that uh, is an experience that you won't get with just training alone. And by the way, folks, these players of Lyceum were walk-ins in their tryouts. So this is basically like a shot in the dark for them uh, that they would want to perform on a high level. But why not 
as they try to stop FEU. The Tamaros, though, are looking so good. It's 24 to 12 now. 12 set points for Jeller, Talisayan, and company. Legaspi goes to their leading scorer in Edang. He was rejected to the open. Good net defense by FEU. This time from the back, Kiko's attack was low. That has been a uh, problem. So that will do it for set number one. Just pure domination from Chef on a Diet FEU. Even though we've seen uh, a couple of substitutions already. So that's definitely a good sign for the yellow shirts. The score for set number one was 25 to 12 in favor of FEU, Chef on a Diet. And we did see some production not only from their first unit, but their second unit as well. That's right. Actually, a lot of names uh, ta uh, tallied some points in the first set for FEU. Uh, we had uh, Bugawan, Mendoza, Cacao, Codilia, Saavedra, all contributing on the side of uh, FEU for... for uh, LPU, we saw that they struggled a bit ano, in, in the first set. It was uh, really dominated by FEU, but there were quite a few players as well who uh, put in the points. Mm -hmm. Pero hindi talaga sapat. No? The more uh, Edang, Polis, and Aquino, as we look at the stats for the first set, which clearly we see how it is leaning towards the side of FEU. Pagating palang sa attack points 13, only 6. For uh, Bayleaf, blocking is the same story. And the uh, serves, no, we did mention, pati serve ng uh, FEU kanina, talagang pang malakasan. Yeah. Really trying to break uh, the place of uh, Bayleaf in the first set. And I guess what uh, didn't help also no, on the side of uh, LPU, yung errors din. No? Mas yeah. marami yung kanilang errors in the first set. They gave away 8 points, which is actually more than the number of points that they scored in terms of uh, attacks. Let's see if LPU can turn things around. They did win a set against Savoj Basilan in their previous game. That happened in the third set of that matchup. So let's see now if they can at least duplicate that at an earlier time against FEU. We are coming to you live from the Paco Arena in Manila for your Spiker Turf Invitational Conference. Thank you for joining us. This is Mick Gomez alongside Andre Mulyakanda and Apple David. It's Benny Martinez who will begin things for us in set number two. He was their usual starting setter in UAAP season 85. And he actually has been a starting setter for the FEU program for a while now because he did come from the FEU high school program alongside guys like Bryce de Guzman and Martin Bugawan. So the core is still intact for the Tamaraus. Martinez with his jump serve. Straight to the libero. Here's the setup to the opposite. Ball up by Benny. Oh, that's a violation of Princess. Slippery uh, 
ball. And so it happens din talaga na basa yung bola. It does. Actually, you'll see them minsan, ano, yung, lalo na first hitters. Dahil yung arms ng ating mga players basa ng power. Yeah. So sometimes it get get uh, slippery. Is there anything that you can put in your hands that can make it less Parang slippery? Wala. Wala naman. <laughs> Parang wala. All right, so we go back to the action. One all. Balik tayo kay Miko. Ooh, that one is out. No good for Espartero, who did see a bit of action in set number one. He scored a point off of a challenge. It's two serving one, a rare lead for Bayleaf. Well received by Espartero. Martinez goes to the quick. Nice defense by Lenorio. Open attack. Tough dig there. Another point for FEU. And there's Jeff Abunyawan, one of the veterans of the Tamaraus. Team captain approaching the line. Ball up by Aquino. And here comes Edang again. Kiko could not score. Martinez. Goes to the open, and that is a point for one of their starters in this game. That's Andre Delicana. Look at this attack. I think yung blocker, no, nasaktan yung uh, finger. Sa net? Was, uh, it, not at the net, but from the ball. Siguro oh. tumama. He was holding on to his uh, fingers after that block. That's Kiko Edang who answers back for LPU and now we're tied at three. Another deadlock here in set number two. So is this a better start for them? I think it is a better start. You see them smiling as well. Hindi ganung katens, not uh, yeah. as uh, quiet as well in, in the first set. But it will take more, I think, for uh, LPU. You know, what would be a good position for them is if they can take the lead. Mm -hmm. At least less pressure, but FEU won't allow that. Back and forth we go. Another attack from the middle. Let's see what happened. Who got the hit? Oh, it's Abunyawan. Oh, sorry, that's Raymond Sabanal. One of their veterans as well. Here's the setup to Lenorio. That's a point off of the block. I like the nickname of Mark Kenneth Lanorio. His nickname is Bakal. Patigasa Speaks talaga. Speaks a no? lot about yeah. ano, no? Yung expectation tuloy din. Yeah. Oh, what an answer from Delicana. I tell you, Andre Delicana is a blue chip recruit because he was a champion in the high school division of the UAAP with FEU. His team defeated the team of... Uh, the player from Nasal Ganina, si Eugene Gloria. And Eugene again was the MVP in the high school ranks. As now, it's a service ace for Andre. And you see that these players, sila sila rin ang nagkikita kita at one point. Sometimes uh, ending up being teammates as well. Right. Because uh, it is now a mixture of players within a team. And uh, LPU. Happy to get that point. The back and forth continues. It's now five serving six. Louis Dumasic will be doing the honors. He was listed as a libero in their previous game. That's a service error. Fifth already for uh, Bayleaf. But that's for the whole game. For the whole game, yes. Five uh, errors. But still, no, kung iisipin mo, ito yung tinanong mo rin, eh, how... Uh, how much of a pressure ba yung nandyan ka sa service line? Ito yung wasted points as well. Yeah. Kasi talagang pamigay siya if you uh, commit a service error. Martinez gives it up to Saavedra. Ball is still alive. Aquino with a tip. Martinez keeps it alive. Saavedra again. Dix will score. And FEU will send us to the first technical timeout of set number two.
you are still watching the Spikers Turf. In it was their pregame talk that mentally prepared Chef on a Diet FEU in what turned out to be a five-set thriller against a PGJC Navy. Coach Ed Orculio told the team that everything that they thought the FEU alumni, especially yung killer instinct, will be on full display on the other side of the court. So they have to prepare for the worst. And the youngsters definitely responded, refusing to lose against their kuyas in the Navy, showing a lot of energy and determination in that game, which they hope to continue to do today, Migs. Now, not to say that the veterans of FEU are old, but uh, let's face it, this current team of FEU is featuring younger legs. And so I ask you a generic question. If you think about it on a broader perspective, as we're seeing a nice rally that ends up with an FEU point, when it comes to longer games, does it actually benefit the younger players? You know, I, I'd like to have a straight-up answer that, uh, of course, yes, right? Because in terms of endurance, and this is what we are talking about, not to take away anything, of course, from uh, the more senior players, yung mga yon, they play efficiently. Mm -hmm. Yun ang maganda because of the experience that they've gathered throughout the years. Pag mahabaan yung laro, alam nila how to pace themselves, alam nila how to conserve their energy. But, you know, going up against a younger team with so much energy, with so much hunger, ito yung mga gusto talagang, yung gustong gusto Manalo, may advantage din eh, because you, you feel that energy. If you stretch a five-setter match, yeah. you know that uh, you know if, if you execute plays, itatalon pa rin nila yan. And thus, we saw the killer inst instinct of FPU in that previous game versus PGJC Navy. Now, we just saw another point from Chef on a Diet. And we also saw the look on the face of Coach Paul Jandoloiras. It's been a tough assignment for him. You know, to turn the program of Lyceum around. They were dead last in their mother league last year. A lot of seniors graduated for them. He basically had, you know, no blue chip recruits, no? Tinanong ko siya, sabi niya, kailangan tryouts na it, 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 it was that tight of a timeline for him. And so we can only hope for the best for Bayleaf LPU. As you get to see this point, it's off of the block. Now 11 to 6, we have a timeout. There's that nothing to lose mindset, no? Oh, okay, yung matakot, basa palu in in you. And I think at this point, kasi it. What matters is, makakuha sila ng puntos. Mm -hmm. They've uh, been challenged as we look at uh, some messages. From Sid TNK, we have Spiker Turf Bay Leaf LPU versus Chef on a Diet. Go PU. So I assume that's LPU. And then that's it. Now we see the service of Benny Martinez. Tough received by the Libero. Here's Edang again. Tried to go cross. Ball kept alive. Martinez to the open. Oh, no more chase here as that ball from Aquino sails out. Buti na lang tumigil si Kiko Edo, kundi si Ann medyo delegado dito sa gilid. Delegado, nakataas na yung kamay ko eh. You see me raising my hand just to make sure hindi tayo tamaan ng bola. And shout out to Ron again for protecting us. Thank you. 12 to 6, make that 13 to 6. It's a service ace. You, you have to appreciate what you see, no? Uh, how how uh, FEU is playing here. They really are maximizing each and every move that they make mm -hmm. on the court. And nakikita mo yan, service palang talaga yung karga is, uh, is there. And it's coming from everybody. It is not just one person, you see it quite consistent. Another strong serve there, but the Libero got the receive. Nice block at the net. Edang approaches. Another block. Recovery for LPU. Back set this time. And there's the cross for the younger brother of Kiko in Gian Edang. Great call to set it at the back. Look at this. Only one blocker right there. That's actually perfect, no? Nakaliwat kanan yung magkapatid. Oh, oh. Ganda nung ano. Kasi kaliwete yung isa. Once again. It's Gian. Oh. That time around, his attack was low. 
the Edam brothers were supposed to play in the high school division for LPU, but their first year was stopped because of the pandemic. And so their first high level of play is in college. Ganun nakatindi para sa kanila. And now it's a service ace again. And also a miscue on the side of uh, the LPU receivers. Sayang eh, they were right there and it, the ball landed in between two players. Espartero will try to do it again. <laughs> sumobra naman. Oh, sumobra na. <laughs> Sabi nila, too much. But he had the same target. Well, FEU does have a good lead for themselves. 15 to 8. Gian Edam, the younger brother serving straight to Bryce. Martinez will go to the open. And there's the high school champion from FEU, Andre Delecana, sending us to our second technical timeout. First opener ko, uh, Kuya Marquez Tejo. Second opener ko, Kuya Jao. Uh, middle ko, uh, Kuya JP. Mugawan. Opposite ko, si Drix Avedra. Siyempre, pang second middle, ako. Ang libero ko, Kuya Vince Lorenzo. Setter ko, si Ariel Kakao. Super 7 ko, matatapatan niya or mahigitan niya yung team PH. Yeah. Kung kanina, BNL ang standards. Ito, Team Philippines oh, ang gusto standards. Ko yung, gusto ko yung confidence. Yeah. Baka gusto ko yung lahat set talaga kasama sila. Oh. Yes. Uh, and by the way, shout out to Martin for still including his kuya in that oh. uh, Super 7. <laughs> Watch the Spiker Surf live in HD and on demand via Filipinas Live. Enjoy the action anytime, anywhere, and in any device. Download and subscribe now or watch via PilipinasLive.com. The score reads 16 to 8. Tough defense there by Lyceum. Ball up for FEU. Back row! Great effort by the Libero. Here's Kiko. That's wide. Clearly going out, but uh, I think in terms of defense, no, much better showing here for Bayleaf. The Libero's name is Kian Moral. Big shout out to him. He's one of the non rookies in the core of Coach Paul Jan. Now we have a double sub. Bencito and Ranara will check in. No, kita mo, eh, no? hindi kalakihan yung lineup nila. Oh, and uh, you know, this is where uh, FEU actually has an advantage kung titignan natin yung tapatan. 17, serving 8. Jeff Abunyawan. Straight to Aquino. Here's the setup to the other side. Ooh. Nice net defense again. You, you see the effort on the side of Bayleaf, you know, trying to really keep the ball alive. It's just that FEU is really giving them a difficult time. Ten-point game in set number two. Tough receive again. Bencito. Ball up. You can hear the communication level of FEU. They're really loud. But there was a violation called. And a welcome point for Bayleaf. That goes back to FEU warming up no, before this game. Darinig mo na, I'm sure, how they were hyping each other up already. Very uh, vocal. They're yeah. very, all very vocal. Cross court. Ooh. That Alam works. Nang hinayang siya si Moral because he was right there. Kinulang lang ng isang hop. At libero siya. Mm -hmm. I'm sure he challenges himself on a very high level. Well, that service was long. That happened a lot last year in the UAAP for Drixa Avedra. We characterized his serving as high risk, high reward. 
but he did start off very well from the service line in this game. Some uh, new faces on the court. We have Polis on your screen. And now the guy who's serving is Bakal Lanorio. 10, serving 19 and set number 2. Ball received by Bryce. Oh, nice running it. And this is something normal no, that you would see on the side of FEU. Talagang maraming uh, plays that gets executed. You see this running attack. They really try to ensure that hindi sila ganung kadaling basahin. Mm -hmm. 20 serving 10. Here's the setup to Aquino. Ball up by Delicana. Sabado's turn. Another lefty that meets the line. Great long cross court shot by Sabado. Nice point. Happy Sunday to you, Mark. Oh, oh sabi niya kahit Sunday ngayon. Sabado. He's here siya. to. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> 21 serving 10. Back row hit for Kiko. And there was a check as well. So it's a point for Fine. Kiko Edang. Sorry. Finally, finally uh, a point. And you saw him uh, celebrate that. No? Siguro hinihintay din niya mag-rotate siya sa harap. Iba rin yung responsibilidad niya, no? Alam niya, kailangan niya talagang pumuntos. Oo, oh, oh. kailangan pumuntos. You need to carry the load of uh, the team. Sabado just scored again. And he seems to be another big guy, no? Off the bench. A lot of uh, talent. Maraming huhugutin, no? At the, at the bench on the side of FEU. And he's pretty muscular. Kaya ang bigat din ng ball. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. You the returns. Really uh, strong. 12 serving 22. Bit of an over-received. Nice save by the setter. Chance for FEU. Sabado again. Aquino puts it up. Attack from the back. Ball kept alive. Oh! No more chase for FEU. No one to pick up the second ball. It was a good calculated return on the side of Bailey. It wasn't one of the strongest hits. Eh, no? Maganda. Pinuesto lang niya with some top spin. Oh, now it's a service ace. Some good momentum coming in for Lyceum. Well, their coach did say, you have nothing to lose. And you see them smiling. You see them enjoying. They're not as tense the way they move. Probably what they need to ensure na hindi sila masyadong uh, malalamangan no? matatambaka ng FEU. And that's an outside hit, but there was a check. Coach Paul Jan Deloiras looking at the action, wonder what's going through his mind. Hirap din eh, no? Kung ikaw yung coach ng team na naghahabol and you're trying to look for solutions. Twenty-three serving fourteen in set number two. Here's Benny Martinez. Jump serve. Oh, he knew that he kind of made a mistake on his throw. Still made it through. Unfortunately, Lyceum scores. And that's something that works. Again, we did mention that. Ano, pag mabilisan yung balikan, just like this, they get a good first ball. Quick set. Helps them a lot. I guess higher percentage of kill. Gets offset by that. Uh, yeah, that service error. That's by Earl Polis, one of the non-rookies as well of LPU. There's coach Ed Orculio. Looking very serious. Not the sideline. Parang hindi lamang yung team niya, oh, no? Nga, eh, parang hindi pa siya satisfied. <laughs> Here's Kiko with the approach. Nice return by Andre Delicana. And so that will wrap up set number two with the score reading 25 to 15. The domination continues.
It's two sets to none in favor of FEU versus Bailey. 25 to 12, 25 to 15, just pure domination from them. Even though we saw a better start though from LPU in set two. It just wasn't enough. I mean, of course, we'd like to give them credit. There was that improvement in, in how they would defend the ball, but FEU just really the force at the net, uh, even at the service line, it, it made it uh, very challenging for uh, LPU to at least match or keep at pace with uh, FEU in that uh, second set. And, you know, we mentioned quite uh, a number of names as well. Uh, on the side of FEU, you have their Delicana nine points, Bugawan and Saavedra with three points, uh, uh, Espartero also scoring five points. Sa LPU, it dun sila nakukulang, ano, the, as we look at uh, set two statistics, you see here how really, in terms of offense, it's it favors FEU with 14. 50% lang ang nagawa ng uh, Bailey with seven points. But even with blocking as well as uh, service aces, uh, clearly that was on uh, FEU side. If uh, not for the seven errors na nakumit ng uh, FEU in the second set, no, um, it was a, actually big contribution, halos kalahate ng uh, puntos ng uh, LPU. That's right, seven out of the 15. As now we begin set number three, just heard the voice and the analysis of Andre Mulyakanda. She joins myself, thanks Gomez and Apple David at the sideline. As now it's Jomel Cordelia who opens up set number three with a point. On uh, the side of LPU, we're still looking, you know, but right now it's uh, Edang that has the highest uh, production with four points. But uh, next to him is Guadabor and Aquino, three points each. Uh, he and Edang with one point. So, kulang talaga kung titignan natin, you know, they, they need to score more rather than wait for the errors of uh, FEU. But maybe easier said than done. Yeah. Because, uh, you know, with what we see, how aggressive FEU also is, it's really been challenging for uh, uh, LPU to even dig up the ball. Well, you did mention, walang sayang nagalaw para sa FEU in oh. this game. That's how we get to see a free point for the most muscular guy on the court <laughs> in Mr. Sabado. That's Mark Sabado. And you just heard a bit of a chant from the FEU side. Again, they've been hyping each other up since the warm-up portion of this game. Now, as we see a service error from Jamel Godilia, I'd like to go back to your point about the top scorers of Bailey. You mentioned it's still Kiko Edang leading the way, but he only has four points. As that compared right. to his 27 in the previous game, would you say that he's been shut down? I think in this case, hirap talaga sila. No? They, they, haven't, uh, they haven't had a chance to set up as much mm -hmm. as they would like to. And I think for FEU also, they did their homework. It doesn't matter kung sino yung kalaban nila. It, it's uh, been challenging. Dahil siguradong babantayan siya. Yes. And you can just feel for Kiko in this game as he tries again. But there's the defense of FEU keeping the ball alive. Talisayan was rejected. Set to the other end, Sabado is blocked. That must feel good. Getting that solid block. Oh yeah, that's by Kiko again, Kiko Edam. He's doing it all. He's got to. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's one choice. That's choice. <laughs> oh my goodness, the elevation from Jellard. How do you even? Look at that. It landed so fast. It was right in front of the defender, no? but it's so bilis. He used to be a beach volleyball player, by the way. That is why, actually, that's a huge advantage. No? Timing, control ng bola. Ooh, <laughs> missed time <time's> there. <laughs> Just as you said the word. <laughs> but it, it, it's a mistake that if you can afford. Martin Bugawan saying uh, peace to his head coach and sorry, his sorry. teammates. Sorry, ako, sorry. <laughs> Look at that guy, is soft-spoken. Here's Talisayan, soaring high again. Another chance, Jellord, that's low. Maririnig mo dito sa side, ano? Sabi kasi natin, ano, si, si coach parang hindi na masyado nagbibigay. Naki, naririnig ko pag may tumatalon din, ibabaw, ibabaw. So, ah. Sabi niya, ibabaw na. So, ganun pala siya magbigay ng instructions. Ako po. Ibabawa eh. Oh, nang, uh... But, you know, they, they do 
have a comfortable lead. Mm -hmm. Clearly, in terms of uh, the numbers that we've seen, no, talagang uh, they are controlling the pace of this game. So relax lang sila, coach. It's now six serving four in set number three. Jelor Talisayan. Straight to Edang. There's the setup to Aquino. He's blocked. And there you see Coach Ed. Looking very neutral, as always. Three-point advantage. Jelor Talisayan with the honors. Libero got to the ball. That's in ping. Chance now for FEU. Princess to Ariel to Martin Bugawan. Had to adjust the uh, timing a bit, but in yung kanyang bawe. All right, so that would send us to our first technical timeout in set number three. FEU continue to lead LPU in the third set. Meanwhile, Ariel Kakao spent majority of last UAP season on the bench. And he is motivated to show here in the Spikers turf what he can bring to the team, hoping to earn that starting sixth spot next year. He is out to prove that he can uh, keep up with the level of play here in the pros and that he can lead his team to their full potential. Meanwhile, we also have an ongoing poll on our Pilipinas Live app asking which team will have more digs this game. Is it going to be Bayleaf LPU or the chef on a diet FEU? I'll key in your answers now with our hashtag SpikerSurf2023 mix. That would make me bring up the floor defense of FEU in this game. As much as we have glorified their net defense, even the floor defense now has been impressive. Yes, uh, it's, it's a good overall game that we are seeing from them. You know, sinasabi nga nila talaga, depensa, very important. It's nice and glamorous to score those points in terms of uh, offense. Pero yung depensa, really, really crucial. Podilia's attack went outside as it rolled off of the net. Now, Apple did also reported about, uh, or she also reported about Ariel Kakao. That makes me really interested as to whether or not he would get the starting spot because Benny Martinez is still there and Benny's pretty decorated already in uh, men's volleyball. That's going to be a good uh, sense of competition for the team. It's a very common theme amongst the players no, that, that we have here in uh, the Spikers turf. Ang ganda because you see it's really healthy competition. Yes. They are trying to earn their spot and uh, you are assured, actually, if you're the coach, no, you're kind of assured. I, siguro don't know they'll give it their best because they want to earn that uh, that slot in the starting six. You have a timeout. Ay kita mo ba? Ah, blocker. Oh, ato na setter eh. Receive mo na. Napaka importante ng receive. Di tayo mga receive. Bala tayo katangay. Walang volleyball na walang receive. Okay, kita mo. We have heard so many timeouts, huddles about receiving. More often than not, that's what they But that quote, it really made its impact. As you get to see our uh, tweet from CPA CMA14, got to see rookies from FEU get their playing time. Playing time, and they delivering. <laughs> Go FEU. <laughs> Are the feelings? Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> sabi niya hindi ko ganon yun sinabi. So buti na lang medyo may feelings. But going back to your point, ano tama? Walang kung walang kung walang first ball, walang reception. Wala. Ta tama si coach. Walang volleyball. Walang volleyball. Paano kayo magplay, de ba? Exactly. That attack was low from FEU. It's 7-11 in set number three. Think about it, FEU. 
is facing a very manageable deficit. Service straight to Jellard. Ooh! That attack went in. And Mendoza really stretched his body there. Here's Ariel Cacao. Well received by the Libero. And here comes Jellor Talisayan. That one is out according to our linesman. Are they going to challenge this? But it, it seemed, it was a very good, ano, it landed uh, sharp nung uh, Opensa. But again, they have the best view over there. Okay, we let go na ng FPU, so we proceed. 8 serving 12, Dumasig goes to the open. Del Sayan, ooh, that's low on the counter. You saw from the approach, medyo nag-alanganin din siya. Parang nagulat nga rin yung teammates niya, no? No, papaluin na niya agad. 9 serving 12. Icon Aquino sending it in, straight to Bryce. There's the tip. Scramble. Edang, that's a younger Edang, who will score. Much needed point to get them double digit at 10. So if you expect Kiko to attack from the left, you have Gian attacking from the right, as he is a lefty after all. Ten serving twelve, Pakino. Straight to Jellord. Back set, nice approach. Good counter. Gian tried to score again, and he actually will. Too much eagerness there at the net. The net infraction causing them that point. The lead has been trimmed down to one. But there doesn't seem to be any signs of panic from the FEU side. Kakao goes to Mendoza. He's met at the net. A chance for LPU. Gian again. That's long. Challenge ba? No, oh, there is a challenge. Yeah, Coach Paul Jan thought that there was a block touch. Might as well, no? They're gaining some momentum already. And uh, this is one of the better sets that they have played here in this match. Remember, it was set number three that Bayleaf won versus Savoj Basilan. So the question is, can they repeat that today against FEU? Wow. <laughs> Couple of dance moves from uh, Dumasig. Just keeping it, uh, keeping it uh, light and fun. Para daw dito sa <laughs> bay leaf as they await. Oh, sa sayo ulit yan. <laughs> Again, folks, these players of Lyceum, they were walk-in tryouts, and so uh, this is their beautiful chance to show off in Philippine volleyball. There was a touch. Yeah. Yep. Successful with that challenge. So we're tied at 12. Good job, eh? Coach Paul Jan Deloiras. 12 ball. Ball received by De Guzman. Back set. Coquilla will score. Nobody picked up. On the side of uh, LPU. Great approach by Jamel Codilia. You know, this is really great showing by uh, LPU at the moment. If we look at the success rate, ano, pagating sa attack points, FEU is at 53%. They're only at 20%. So the fact that they're able to at least tie it here in the third set Whoa. and even score that Whoa. point to tie it with FEU speaks a lot in terms of uh, how they've improved, at least progressed ano, in, in, in this match here in the third set. Let's see if that monstrous hit can spark them up again. We're tied at 13. Mendoza to answer back. Balikito si Martin Bugawan. Same goes for Ian Moral, the libero of Lyceum. Yeah, Lyric Mendoza serving now for the yellow shirts. Slay Tokino, Dumasik will set up. Gian, ball returned. Moral 
to the other side. Kiko will score. Smart move there. Wiping it off the hands of the blocker. Pinalabas talaga niya, eh, no? He wanted to ensure that they'll get that point. How about the Edong brothers, Ann? Oh, they are definitely uh, delivering here for LPU. Pagawan tried to score to no avail. Ball up. Aquino from the back. Bit of a scramble. Chance ball for LPU. They go to their top scorer. Ball deflected. Kakao to the quick. Martin could not score as of yet. Dumasik to the open. Ball kept alive. Tough rally. Aquino. There's the chase for FEU. Bugawan. Ball dug up. Aquino again sends it through. Kakao looks and sets. Martin oh. Bugawan puts it away. Probably one of the longest rallies that we've witnessed in this match. And we saw some tough digs, no? But this amazing attack. Killing it for uh, FEU. So kahit natalo sa point na yun yung uh, LPU, alam mo, nakatawa pa rin sila. Because yeah. it was a good exchange. Huh? Right. Really, really good exchange from both teams. You can see the body language. Just totally different from the red shirts. As they try to tie things up again before we approach our second technical timeout. Benny Martinez is back alongside Rick Saavedra. Moral with the first ball. Dumasik back to the open. That's another rejection for Martin Bogawan and Rick Saavedra. Second technical timeout, 16 to 14. Hindi po ako volleyball player ngayon. Siguro nakikita ko yung sarili kong nag-aaral ng mabuti. Tumutulong sa mga magulang. Tsaka, siguro, yun. Kasi goal ko dati is maging marino kung hindi ko sana naging volleyball. So, yun. Yun yung binigay ng Panginoon. Kaya, kinunap ko na I like that attitude by Kiko Edang who might just be the cornerstone for LPU in the upcoming years of their volleyball program. Watch the Spiker Surf live in HD and on demand via Pilipinas Live. Enjoy the action anytime, anywhere, and in any device. Download and subscribe now or watch via PilipinasLive.com. Padilla sending that ball through. Kiko again! Nice cross. You see the sportsmanship then. <laughs> Pag, uh, sorry, but uh, that was uh, an amazing hit. I think yung adrenaline din, yeah. no? Dadala yung adrenaline. Yung buhok ni Princess na, <laughs> na, na papunta sa kabila, eh, yung suklay. <laughs> Ayan, adrenaline na dala. Yeah, Hanggang sumobra sa ngayon yung serve. Oh. Ngayon, uh, you know, this actually uh, brings LPU with eight service errors so far in this match. Princess is back. Scoring seven uh, service aces. Nakapag ayos na ng box si Princess. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no chase there as he tried to backtrack with the ball. So LTU is just sneaking from behind here. The score now is 17 to 16. There's the setup by Benny onto Drix. The ball is loose. Great chase. A chance now for FPU. Benny will go to the combination. There's the push. And that's going to go out. Good try on the side of uh, LPU. You see, the, the movement now here in the third set is so much different. Though. Pagating sa defense, they 
throw their bodies on the floor. They try to keep the ball alive. 18 serving 16, Dumasig to his running hitter. There's a whistle blown, a violation on Lyceum. And now Coach Doloiras will be calling for time. They're down by three. Okay, tuloy mo lang yung backweight mo yan, no? Backweight ka lang, ha? Digo, back lang dito. Ah. Saan ka, coach? Sit on side. Dito na to, dulo. Dito ka, di ba? Dulo ka? Dito na ako, coach. Sige, dito, sige yan. Sige yan dito, coach. Sige, bata. Basta tuloy mo. Pwede ka sa gate na. Sige, coach. Tapos sa icon, bagay mo na ang stress. Okay, coach. Para po. Dito, ha? Dito ka man galing. Pakita ka dito, ha? Dito, ha? Tapos diretsuhin mo dito, ha? Okay, sige. Okay, basta, basta. Okay, I can only imagine Kiko and Gian Edang being the stars for the next couple of years no, for LPU. Ganda nun, no? magkapatid yung uh, oh, diba? biggest names. What uh, a nice tandem. But uh, on that huddle, si Coach humihingi ng specific play. So bago nila magawa yun, they need a good first ball and they deliver it. Pero walang opensa. Oh, that's a set by Talisayan leading up to the attack by Saavedra. Ball kept alive. Drix again. Great net defense by LPU. There's the look by Benny. And that's definitely too close to the net and the antenna. LPU still looking very much alive here in set number three. It's the same set, set three, that they won versus Savoj Basilan in the previous game. Padilla, nice approach, tough dig, no more recovery there. And that's the, the challenge you know, for uh, the men's games. Usually, because it's a big palo, the, def the defense really needs to slow down the ball. Yeah. Otherwise, if it's so fast, the ball is net, it gets difficult for, for them to pick up the second ball. At dahil mahirap kang pabagalin yung bola, mas marami bang uh, paghahabol na nagaganap sa mga setter sa men's volleyball? You know, I think, like in this match alone, ano, nakikita natin na kahit papano, nade-deliver naman ng maayos okay. dun sa setter. So I think it, it would be a case-to-case -case basis. Mm -hmm. But uh, in that last um, dig you know, from, from LPU, napalakas lang ng konti. It's now 21 serving 17 to Avedra. Again, loading up on his serve. There's the younger brother in Edang as there's a, a violation. Uh, lifting violation called. <laughs> 18 serving 21. Aiko Nakino and the rest of LPU not going away. And they sign on the first ball. Cordelia, nice cross court hit. How do you even <laughs> pick that up? Atam bilis niya, no? Magkol ng katawan. Atam bilis. It, it really uh, nice to look at pagating sa approach. Mm -hmm. See him wind up. Cordelia is also one of those guys getting more minutes with the departure of Mark Alado. Tough save there. Chance ball for FEU. Benny to Mendoza who tried to hang in the air and he was successful with it as he scores. It's now 23 to 18. Two more points before FEU gets its second victory. Jamel Codilia giving Andre Mulyakanda another hard time in selecting the best player. That's a block for FEU. Six match points now. Medyo tumahimig na ulit, no? In oh, ICU. But, uh, you know, it's been tough, really. I mean, they, they gave it uh, their best, I, I'd mm -hmm. say, no? Here in the third set. Malaki yung pagbabago, no? From set number one and set number two. But really, FEU... Has uh, challenged them, made it a lot more difficult. They score a point here off of the block. Set is not yet over. Five match points. Polis will be serving. Straight to Bryce. Benny looks and sets. They go to Jellord. Ball up. 
Dumasik to the open. Kiko will score. They're still alive, man. They need to play flawlessly. No errors at all. Para dito sa Bayleaf LPU. 20 serving 24. You see a bit of a smirk there <laughs> from Coach Ed. Wonder what that means. They uh, do need just one point to close out this match. Benny goes to the quick. Nice rejection. Bryce sends it to the other end. That's a bit low from Drix. Sabi ni Coach, ano ba to? Isang puntos na lang yung kailangan natin. But they uh, seem to be stuck here at 24. But of course, that would be good news on yes. the side of uh, LPU. But the more serving again. They're down by three. Bryce puts it up. Benny, pipe attack. That's long. 22-24. You see uh, coach at the sideline. Sabi niya, Pero wala pa rin. Still no words. Yeah. Look at him. Looking more and more serious now, Coach Ed. Imagine the pressure on Roji Guadamore. Cannot make a single mistake. Martinez. Ooh, miss hit. Oh, was there a net touch? And what? now, Epi is going to challenge this. Yeah, might as well. That was so tough. I don't know, but uh, let's see. LPU has been successful with the, mm -hmm. with the challenges so far today. But I uh, think it's such a crucial, uh, you know, for both teams. So LPU, of course, you'd like to snatch this third set. But for FEU, ayo mo rin. Yes. Makuha ang kanang uh, isang set. And if you come to think about it, it seems like even if they just need one point now in this set, may pressure. Mm -hmm. May pressure ngayon sa kanila dahil hindi sila makapuntos. No? Nakailang dire-diretsong uh, uh, point itong uh, LPU. Uh, just imagine what this challenge can mean if it is successful for Coach Paul Jan Doloiras. Now everybody stands inside the Paco Arena. <laughs> this might just change the outcome of the set. And we've seen challenges like this before. Yung tapos na yung laro, chinalenge, successful yung challenge, at nakahabul pa yung team na yun. Oo. Alam mo, ibang uh, momentum din yung mabibigay yes. sa'yo. No? Medyo mabubuhayan ka. Look at the, the Bayleaf team just smiling and having fun <laughs> over there. By the way, and that team na nakaranas ng challenge na yun at natalo sila was FPU to Ateneo in the UAAP. Was their net touch... Meron ba? Yung jersey ba? Wala! So the challenge is successful! Okay, so are we going to reward so the point or just replay? Well, no adjustment in the scoreboard. So it still point. is, yeah, still is 22, serving 24. But, uh, you know, very quiet FEU Tamaraos we're seeing on the floor. I think, yeah, trying to sort out also with our uh, officials. You think about it, I see him also was about to score already because mm -hmm. FEU had a mistake on the hit. So we have two match points for the Tamaraos. 22, serving 24. Roji, with the more back at it. Oh. How ironic. That's so anticlimactic to end the game with a service error. He was iced, no? He, they, they were iced. It, it, it took a while for them, but also, mahirap kalimutan yang ano na yan. Because they, they had their chance, but uh, sadly, that uh, service error handed FU the win today. But still, we would like to give big props, as you have been doing, to LPU, who fought so hard. Unfortunately, they lose in three sets. So we'll be back to wrap this game up.
From Chef on the Diet FU, our player of the game is Jomel Codilla. You had 10 points on 8 attacks, so 1 ace and 1 block. First two sets, uh, you guys dominate. Pagdating sa third set, uh, naka-recover itong LPU. Dumikit na kalamang pa. Pero ano ba exactly nangyari doon and how are you guys able to recover? Siguro nahirapan po kami nung, um, sa pagpatay po sa net po, sa uh, taas po ng net. Um, yung ginawa po namin para po maka-recover, um, uh, nag-usap muna kami tapos yun, parang nagtiwala ulit kami sa, uh, sa isa't isa. Last game you won on a five-set match. Today naman, three straight sets. Kano ka important at laking bagay na experience nyo yung ganitong klase ng mga laro? Five sets, three sets? Um, lahat naman siguro sa amin, uh, importante po. Uh, pero mas importante namin yung straight set talaga. Uh, every game. Alright, congratulations, Romel. And to the rest of FEU. Back to you, Minx. Thank you, Apple. It's actually been a well-balanced day no, for FEU. Do you want to give shoutouts to other players? You know, I think uh, we, we did see earlier, no, sabi nga natin, ang advantage ng FEU is that they've uh, tallied a lot of scores. Hindi lang isang tao. So actually, sabi mo, ang hirap pumili. There are a lot of players who contributed today, but Cordelia just really stood out, the lone person who scored in double digits mm -hmm. for uh, FEU. And uh, they did play very, very well. They played as a unit. Napigilan lang ng konti nung bandang huli mix at napigilan sila nung sa 24 sila. But nonetheless, we saw a lot of uh, effort from these guys. Uh, they played so well and deserved the win today. Now, as much as they're happy to win in three sets, would you actually be concerned that you ended like that? I think for coach, the latter part, mm -hmm. yes. Ano? We, we saw him uh, na medyo alarmed in a way na hindi sila makapanapos. As we look at uh, the stats for set number three, where, again, FEU continues to dominate across the different skill departments. But I think what spelled the difference for set number three and what, may, what uh, gave it uh, a little bit of an easier time for LPU is the 13 errors, uh, 30, 13 giveaway points uh, of FEU in uh, set number three. So clearly, even if they won in uh, straight sets, there's still some things that mm -hmm. they, they need to work on. Sabi nga ni uh, Codilia kanina, uh, gusto nila yung panalo, pero talagang ang target madalas dapat straight, straight sets. sets. So, oh. well, we have been seeing a lot of adjustments. No? Roster-wise pa lang, marami na pagkakaiba sa FEU Tamaraos, but uh, they're off to a good start with two wins already in our conference. Up next, we have Perpetual. Kinto Tires going up against Philippine Army and then the Signal HD Spikers will wrap up the game today against the Santa Rosa City Lions. Well, thank you for joining us for our first two games here inside the Paco Arena for Andre Mulyakanda and Apple David. My name is Mix Gomez and stay tuned for more of your Spikers Turf 2023 Invitational Conference.